Welcome to Cambridge Economics Club. Uh, I wish you a happy holidays uh, and a happy new year. So here I'm with the first uh, video um, we have based on the economy exercise uh, provided by the economy studies. Um, so just a quick introduction to what exactly is economy studies. So economy studies studies is something which was initiated by our economy our new economy and treating economics which is partnered with exploring economics institute of new economic thinking oikos um core Econ, and global development policy center economics in contest initiative and boston university so here in this first video this month in the economy uh, we are we are using the um, uh, actually the intention of this video is to deliver um, and show you how you can use make use of the uh, particular uh, PDF template of uh, this particular exercise which is produced by the economy studies um, every month at least they'll produce at least one or more than one um, episodes of uh, search content every um, every month so this uh, this year it's the world cup in qatar uh, <laughs> because none another thing was talking the world and having the entire globe's attention during this period of time so we are discussing world cup in qatar um so let let me uh, before jumping into the um, uh, actual uh, presentation uh, let me just present you how this the economy studies brings you the entire thing so the economy studies gives you such an instructor guide where, where the teachers um, in the universities or colleges can go through this entire um, instruction guide and see how uh, how to perform the particular economy exercise. Um, here you can see that everything is detailed here. So uh, what economy study this uh, this month in the economy exercise what what the thing is and like what economics of world cup in qatar and all such uh, details are given here you can see uh, how a world cup in qatar the the lesson plan is given how time need to be divided across the slides which is attached to the presentation so there is also a, a popular article as well as um video suggestion uh, by john oliver so you must have watched that video already so these two uh, this article and the other thing which was the preparatory works for the students that uh, there are uh, instructions for the instructor as well so there is this summary how to conclude and things so this is a pretty detailed uh, report which can be used so let, let's quickly see what the um, uh, the it, one of the attachments is also so this is the other attachment which was there as part of the uh, um, part of the uh, I mean the package which we, we can say the most expensive World Cup in history so this particular uh, article actually gives the entire idea uh, I just highlighted the uh, all the uh, uh, all the adjectives here so this is kind of uh, uh, gives all the kinds of uh, information regarding all the controversies, all the informations and uh, how uh, the v budget of the World Cups throughout the history. Uh, so it's it's pretty much explaining the entire thing and the setting context for every student who's uh, so no, no student stands uh, miss the point. So just diving into the presentation. So here you can see the various uh, in this slide you can see the top controversies associated with the Qatari World Cup. So you can see the uh, environmental issues. Uh, the World Cup in Qatar is a climate catastrophe. That's one of the articles which was pointed out. Then this LGBTQI plus violence and those atrocities those that is also listed in another art from a quoting from another article so then then this is huge thing called uh world cups forgotten team actually uh, talking about the migrant laborers who had to suffer um the qatari uh labor laws which are considered to be um un inhumane in many many contests 
um also there is a huge a lot of um, restriction on press and the press safety was pretty bad um, so these are the top controversies just setting the contest for the students so then you have this um, here you have this front line uh, friend, uh, friend office sports article so uh, um, i mean this saying that it's the most expensive um, world cup where there was a most uh, bigger spending which we just saw how the spending was different across all the different years you can here see it like uh, how much was spent in us in 1994 till like in the La- uh, qatari world cup like it's the, the growth was tremendous the uh, jump was tremendous so th- that's something uh which which is mentioned in here so moving uh, further you can see uh, what exactly which we, uh, we are doing as part of the exercise so we are basically trying to understand the cost who uh, cause and benefit of the world cup so that's the basic idea of understanding the economics of uh, world cup and are trying to understand who is benefiting and who is losing so the losers and gainers of this world cup losers and winners of the world cup <laughs> obviously argentina won the cup but um, we are just seeing the economic losers and winners of the world cup so um, the task which we gave to the, um, i mean actually we are, the the instruction manual asked the students to be divided into group of 3 um uh, and then they are asked to identify at least three types of costs in the conduct of um, world cup and at least uh, three types of benefits which um are gained can um, benefit are gained during the world cup so so here here is the uh, i mean that's the initial discussion and which we will i mean have a brief discussion on that um and then move, move, moving ahead and like then going for who will uh, who, who will pay and like who will gain from the contact of the world cup so who has paid so um, so and like who continue to pay for the world cups um uh, the world cup which we had so then uh, here is this uh, 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 there is this point of how how do you think the decision was made um how how the decision making process happened like uh, and do you think some groups work together for qatar to host the world cup and to resist it so we, there is a lot of allegations the european union is also currently in um in in in, in question so like uh, europe its challenge is it's it's um its sanity is challenged to, by the qatar influence so moving ahead like uh, we uh, we would um, like what kendraj club uh, is doing here is to uh, give you some idea how how to perform the task so we are trying to give you answers how to like what we identified as cost and benefit so this is what we identified as so this is this is something these slides are added to the main slides which we are we are just giving you how you can perform it in practical so here you can see what we have written in so identifying from the uh, qatari world cup um we identified these all things as the cost firstly the money expense for building such an infrastructure so the money expenditure uh, money expense of by the qatari government so who will pay was identified as qatari government so second cost which we identified is cost uh, cost of laborers death or like uh, cost of the human lives lost so here are the families of uh, deceased from the south 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 asian countries and africa are the people who, who are losing or who who is paying the cost so then we have this cost of anti lgbtqi ai plus messaging so who is paying the cost for it this is queer people around the globe you can see this um, malayali uh, in in the kerala context if you see um, you can see news news debates where uh, religious extremists especially islamic religious extre- extremists coming and saying that um, so the world accepted and went to qatar to contest in the world cup um, even though they had anti lgbtq or anti qur laws so uh, lgbtq is a failed uh, failed ideology or it's a theory so those kind of long messaging which it will affect um, negatively impact the qur people around the world so th- the cost of that uh, and the lgbtqi messaging is another cause which we identified and the fourth most uh, important cause which we identified is environmental and ecological cost so the future generation is uh, someone who is going to pay large chunk of that due to the um, 
I mean, or even though there are claims certain uh, stadiums are sustainable and so, but like the, we have seen articles in the initial slides which say otherwise. So there is huge ca- carbon footprint created as part of the event. So I, I mean, also other kinds of pollutions um, must have occurred due to the World Cup. So the future generation has to pay, pay cost for that. So these are the different costs which we identified and uh, the, the people who are supposed to pay the cost. So then we're moving on who is winning. Uh, uh, so like who, who is gaining or like what are the benefits? First um, and foremost thing is that the local uh, spending uh, local spending will increase. Obviously people are coming from elsewhere. Um, so certain amount of money comes to Qatar. Um, so the business will grow. So the, the, we saw the proportion in uh, initial slide saying that like there will be an inflow of like around 20 um, billion dollars. Whereas they are spending to 2000, uh, 220 billion dollars. So that's the thing. So then uh, uh, ticketing and other sales of merchandise and other things which FIFA is benefiting. Um, so Qatar is Qatar government is not getting any money from those things. Also the winning team also, I mean, this would have, uh, yeah, the benefit, uh, this should have come on the benefit that the, the winning team, Argentina and the other teams, all the teams competing has got certain uh, huge chunk of prize money. So the prize money is so big, uh, like much bigger than uh, what we can imagine. So uh, that kind of uh, money is going to the winning team, so the competing team. So that's one thing uh, which we can uh, say about. Then there's anti-LGBTQI plus messaging. That's also benefiting someone, right? That's benefiting anti core movements and religious extremists. So there is a gain in that contest also. Then the employment. So when there is a game and there is a huge lot of jobs created, so local and foreign uh, and migrant workers get job. So there is also a job creation. So that also that also cause kind of a benefit of the um, conduct of the World Cup. So then we just uh, uh, go and see and uh, make a conclusion about all these things. So how do you think the decision was made of? Uh, um, I mean, there are a huge lot of allegations on how decisions was made, how corrupt was uh, FIFA selecting Qatari, Qatar as a host country and how Qatar's uh, policies are so uh, rudimentary or like ancient like they do not have any progress society um those kind of claims exist uh, there are also claims from the other camps that qatar is more eligible um this is all anti uh, middle east uh, narratives which are trying to be spread by the west so oh, there are both kind of messaging happening on like you can have you guys can have in your classroom a kind of a discussion on all these things and uh, how i mean you, you are also seeing that qatari government and moroccan government was buying uh, uh, certain um, things uh, s- certain uh, european uh, parliamentarians and this kind of allegations are going on so a lot a lot is happening in the pearl politics uh, in association with the um, qatar uh, world cup and also there there are also like major allegations like ukrainian, ukrainian uh, prime minister uh, ukrainian um, uh, what, uh, uh, chief of government Valdemar Zelensky was not allowed by the FIFA uh, in, in contacting his uh, giving his uh, narrative and so like there are there are huge lot of politics and other kinds of narratives going around um, so there is also this there is a, this is a final slide from the uh, 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 the uh, group uh, so we, they are like just concluding and like seeing what what we should gain from the uh, uh, in the entire thing exercise which we have performed so these are the uh, summarized versions you can always put a dollar on every cost and benefit like we just see that like for instance ecological cost or um, the cost of uh, environmental cost like we have we have many mechanisms to count for like ecological cost there are mechanisms but still we can't add up so then this uh, the cost and benefit of um, for your community and anti your moments this this all things which ca- we can't put uh, um, put a cost and benefit and some the sum of cost and benefit does not always predict the outcome um, so that's also one of the other takeaways which we can take a, take from this different groups will benefit or suffer from any activity and this groups shape who wins or loss so these are the uh, major takeaways so we, 
we have tried to identify certain groups which might have made profit out of this qatari world cup so hope this uh, thing was uh, useful in some sense we could make some sense so this is this is what we suggest all of you to do um, especially all the um, um, universities and colleges in kerala and elsewhere to adopt and like spend 30 minutes um, to have this discussion with the students and every teacher can do this task very easily because all this content with the instruction manual um, is provided by the uh, with a lesson perfect lesson plan is provided so this is free of course and this is available um, so if you guys reach out to us like we can provide uh, assistance from our part also uh, we'll also help you connect with the economy studies group if you if you need any particular help so these things can be done and we hope all of you enjoy the video and happy holidays and have a nice new year um see you uh, bye till then